I'm Al Avilas, President and CEO of the New York City Health and Hospitals Corporation. I'm going to be talking a bit about our focus on patient safety and how we're using three initiatives, Team Steps, Just Culture, and Breakthrough, to make our system even better than it is today, even more effective and even more efficient and even more safe. So this is resolving conflict. What I'm going to try to do is to connect the dots on how patient safety, breakthrough, just culture, and team steps all work together to provide better, safer care for our patients and to do it at a lower cost. What are you trying to address? Research has clearly shown that medical errors, when they occur, are most often the result of faulty communication, faulty teamwork. New York City is probably one of the most diverse places on earth, and that diversity makes New York a vibrant place, certainly makes HHC a vibrant place because not only the patients but the staff reflect that diversity, but it also increases the challenges of delivering health care. That's why we've pulled together uh, a set of tools to try and ensure that we are leveraging every ounce of experience and knowledge and dedication that our employees have. So what is error and, and what is harm? Well, errors occur around us all the time. HHC has increasingly looked at evidence-based best practices to improve the clinical care that we render. Team Steps is one such best practice, which has been demonstrated to be effective, improving the performance of teams and the outcome of the care rendered by teams. Team Steps requires everyone to have a shared mental model. That is, for everyone to be on the same page. Goals have to be clear, the treatment plan has to be clear, communication has to be clear. Team Steps is very much about breaking down silos. It's about making sure that team members across disciplines, doctors, nurses, other team members, that they all communicate together, speaking their mind and speaking up. Part of the role of a leader under Team Steps is to optimally organize the teams that they work with to ensure that they're gathering all of the relevant input, that communication in general is as clear and effective as possible. And all of that is critically important if we're going to optimize what teams can do. Team Steps really does help to build camaraderie. It helps to just reinforce the message that everyone is there to serve the patient. Fortunately, what we've seen is that many of our clinical teams have really been so taken with the effectiveness and power of Team Steps that they've actually undergone intensive training to become master trainers themselves. So now we have a large cadre of our own employees who are master trainers training other staff in Team Steps. Nobody comes to work in a healthcare facility intending to harm a patient. More often than not, errors are a result of the complexity of healthcare meeting the fallibility of the humans who are delivering that care. And so it is best in most situations for us to look at those errors from the standpoint of what can we learn from them and what can we do to try and ensure that the next time around that same error will not occur under the same circumstances. If we're going to make our hospitals and healthcare systems as safe as possible, then we have to tackle this tendency to use blame and shame as a way to keep patients safe. It doesn't. All it does is drive medical errors underground and make staff fearful about talking honestly and openly about the vulnerabilities in our system that are often revealed by the errors that actually occur. Like, uh, a team Just Culture so. recognizes that really mistakes need to be focused on, not so much for punishment, but for learning. To really understand on a deep level 
how that error occurred so that we can change the way we do our work to make it less likely that that error will occur again in the future. By effectively implementing a just culture and persuading everyone that we will be completely fair in the way that we assess errors when they occur, we make it easier for employees to speak freely. Just culture is not an easy thing to implement and establish. It is a fundamental change from the way we have historically treated mistakes and medical errors. But we are making steady progress in changing our culture into one that is more just. And I see that in terms of the number of near misses and close calls that are reported on an annual basis, which have increased significantly, giving us much more opportunity to learn from those near misses and close calls and to try and hardwire our systems for patient safety. Part of innovation in healthcare is to look at times beyond healthcare for improvements and approaches that have been successful in other industries. Breakthrough is a performance improvement system based upon a methodology that's long been used in manufacturing and is commonly referred to as lean. And it means that teams of employees who work on the front lines come together and spend often a full week working on trying to improve the processes that they deal with every day, relying upon the true experts of that work, which is those who actually do it. And they bring to bear their experience, their judgment, and their insights. I may have 30 people designated for admissions with nowhere to I go. I can tell you from personal experience that staff become very energized and it's remarkable how in that room you often see leadership emerge from people who don't have formal leadership titles but who have the commitment, the experience to actually lead change and to um, help us to improve the way we care for patients in ways that often are quite startling and dramatic. Our experience with Breakthrough has been extremely positive. I think it's energized many of our employees who have been involved. I encourage all of our employees to volunteer to be part of a rapid improvement event. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much can be accomplished and how much you can personally take credit for in terms of making things better for our patients and for our staff. Breakthrough is a critical element in the pieces that come together to connect the dots of our initiatives to render the best possible care for our patients. Like Team Steps, which focuses on effective teams, like Just Culture, which ensures that team members feel freer to speak openly and honestly, Breakthrough captures the power of teamwork in order to facilitate process improvement to look at how the work is being done now and how it can be done better going forward. So everyone needs to be able to work together. Learning these skills will allow you to make an important contribution to the innovation and continuous improvement that is part of HHC's evolving culture. And that will serve the benefit of all of our patients.